<clears throat> now that Breath of the Wild is coming out in a month, I don't have a reason to snap my little brother's fucking Wii U in half and say, Bitch, we make it a switch. <laughs> Until then, I'm stuck with some other shit Zelda games. Except Link Between Worlds. God, this shit's so fun. You can be like, I'm fucking bored. But fuck. Turn on Link Between Worlds. You'll have a grand old time. But of course, the game isn't perfect. But it's a nice callback to the 2D Zelda games that only the 3,000 fans have been waiting for. But here are some shitty reasons why I love this shitty game. The story, man, it's fucking simple. You wake up, some dickhead tells you you gotta wake up because you're late for something. You go to the thing, and then you get yelled at. But instead of getting yelled at, you had to go to the castle to give the soldier a sword. He's like, uh, this, yeah, he ain't, he ain't here. You gotta go to the graveyard. So you go to the graveyard, and then you see this little, little girl, and she's like, yeah, yeah, I'll go get that soldier. And, bop, conflict begins. And then, next thing you know, this Yuka guy, he's like, Man, I'm gonna turn all these sages into pains, you little bitch! And then you fucking die! Not really, but you you, you can only die if you lose all your hearts. But at, but at some point in the game, you uh, you kill him, but I'm not gonna say when, because I think it's obvious that you kill him at the end. But uh, I can't spoil that. But then, this but before you die, this stupid little rabbit wakes you up and is like, hey, I'm gonna ruin your whole entire life. The reason why this guy is part of the Nazi Hitler scheme is that he has the shittiest item mechanics ever. Instead of picking up old items like in old Zelda games, ooh, you have to rent the stupid fucking things. Of course, at one point you can buy them. But, but it, it kind of breaks the flow of traditional games, but it doesn't spoil the fun, but, but, but it, uh, get, get ready, because when the fun is spoiled, is when you have to pick up these stupid 100 shitty oyster little things, and you can only get an upgrade when you collect 10 of them, and it, 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 it's, it's stupid, it's, it's stupid, and, and you want, you don't know how you can upgrade them, so only if you buy the items, the items cost a lot of money. Temples. Now the temples, they're pretty, they're pretty old, fucking stupid. They're pretty stupid. But but the only reason why the temples are really good is that the music, the mu the music is pretty good. Like the swamp temple and the ice temple, even though it has more cancer than a hospital. But but the music in the game is pretty good. Like you gotta give the good music some good good things like. Kakarika Village and a castle theme. Some good music. Ooh, the mini games. The mini games are just some good ass shit. You like omitting chest? Boom! You get a chess game. You like cuckoos? Boom! Dodging some fucking cuckoos like it's your shitty ex girlfriend. You like the MLB? Boom! Hit the home run, it's out of the puck. <laughs> Now you know how I said I hate the item mechanics? I-I-I kinda lied. Yeah, I-I yeah, kinda lied. But to be honest, it's an interesting mechanic. It, it kinda makes you like, level, like, travel the game at your own pace. And you you can only rent so many items at a time, and you don't have to race your, you, uh, waste your stupid rupees. And if you don't want to waste your rupees, just, just buy the fucking bow. It's the only useful item in the game. But if you want to be super protective, buy every single weapon like me. And then you. But but the best freedom is when you can say, "Fuck you, Zelda! I'm gonna get all the shitty heart pieces." Woohoo! Well, guys, looks like it's the end of my video. And I know it wasn't that long, but just remember, I'm not always here to make videos. But also, until I do. Get my fucking Alex of War video to 2,000 views.